Hello, I'm Adrian, and in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can extend and expand the range of your basic position one, pattern one, minor pentatonic scale. Um, in a previous video, I just took you through the um, essential position one fingering of the A minor pentatonic scale. Um, what I want to do in this video is just to develop that a little bit. Um, we're going to go a little bit higher and a little bit lower and uh, you'll find that just by doing that it really expands your options when you're taking a solo. You'll find that there are many many great licks which you can find within this particular scale fingering. So this is this is how it goes. We're going to start off with our position one pattern one scale fingering that, that we all already know um, and we're going to go up the scale as far as this note here, which is the seventh fret on the G string, um, and then rather than continuing up onto the, the B string, we're going to shift up to the ninth fret on the G string um, with our third finger. So we're going to go up into the next position here. Um, then we're going to come onto the index finger at the eighth fret on the B string, and then the tenth fret, and then we've got eight and ten again on the top string. So um, we, we've shifted with our third finger along the, the G string, and then we've got 8, 10, 8, 10 on the top two strings. So we've got this little kind of box or extension of our basic scale shape. So let me just take you through that one more time. We're going up the scale. As far as this note here, we're gonna shift two frets higher with the third finger, and squeeze in onto the index finger, 8, 10, 8, 10. Um, and we can come down the same way, so squeeze onto the third finger, shift with the third finger, and then back down the scale. So that's the first little higher extension of, of this scale. Um, very, very commonly used, this little shape. So you, you will start off in pattern one or position one of the scale. Then you can slide or shift up into that next shape. Um, so super, super cool, super common. Um, usually you're going to be doing that shift with the third finger. Um, in some cases you might do it with your second finger depending on uh, exactly what you're doing musically. So that's our first little extension. Now um, I just want to show you an equally common little extension which is going off the other side of our pattern one fingering. Um, we're actually just going to uh, add in a couple of extra notes um, and that's the third fret on the low E string and the third fret on the A string um, and that gives us this nice little four note box down here in the third position. So um, our a, a root note here is still the same, but we can start this time with our third finger um, and that allows us to reach over to the third fret on the A string to catch this C note. Um, in our basic fingering of the scale we were playing our C note here with the little finger. Um, we're playing the same note, we, we can find the same note here at the fifth fret on the A string. Um, and that actually just seems to sit a little bit nicer under the fingers, because rather than that slightly awkward stretch with the little finger. You've got it right there under your index finger. Um, so we, we can play the scale like this. We can start on the root, then play our C note here, then the D with the third finger, and then shift with the third finger to the seventh fret. Then we're back in position. So we've got that little box down there. Again, we're using our third finger to shift position. So starting off here, third finger, shift. You can either just do a position shift or you can do a slide. Um, and you can do the same thing to get back the other way. And then you've just got, in this position you've got an extra low G note available too. So that's at the third fret on the low E string. So you've got this, as I say, this nice little box of notes. Um, and then when you want to, you can slide back up into that familiar position one shape. and then up into our high, higher extension. So um, let me just put, put all of that together for you then. We, we've now got a kind of expanded um, version of our minor pentatonic scale. Um, so if we just play the whole scale up and down, again, we'd start on our, on our root note here, but rather than starting on the index finger, we're starting on our third finger. So we're gonna go A, C, D, shift up into position, carry on up the scale, 
seventh fret on the G string. Again, we're shifting with the third finger, squeezing in, on, in onto our index finger for our little high four note box. And then coming down again, third finger, shift, down the scale. And we can again shift with the third finger back to the root. And then we can include just that low note, the low G, and then finishing on the root again. So just put all of that together. That's the way that I would practice the scale up and down. You know, notice how it all just falls really naturally and easily under the fingers. You can play all of this with the index and third fingers. It really lends itself well to, to kind of um, fast and, and smooth playing. So um, that's the first way I would do it, kind of picking every note, shifting on the third finger. Um, also, these position shifts on the third finger really kind of work well with slides. So you can um, pick, 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 slide. Pick, 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 slide. So a combination of picked and, and, and slide, slided, slid, slid notes um, actually sounds really good. Um, So th there's the scale. Um, I suggest you have a, a play around with it. And there's loads of great music, loads of great licks to, to be found in this scale. I want to finish then by showing you a great lick, which just gives you one way that you can get from the bottom to the top of this particular scale pattern. So it goes something like this. You can see how we're starting down here in the third position with our, our little box extension. Sliding up into our main pattern. Sliding up again. And then just finishing with a bend there on, on the highest note in the scale pattern. really is a great lick which really kind of fits, falls nicely under the fingers, really kind of flows diagonally across the guitar. Um, whack on a bit of distortion and it sounds great. Let me just try that. Um. <laughs> there we go. So um, that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.